So in today's video, I am going to give my review of the SPTA cordless rotary. So I picked this up uh, a couple of weeks ago and I've been playing around with it and getting used to it because I'm not a rotary guy. I am a dual action polisher guy. I like dual action polishers. It's what I learned on. It's what I am efficient at. And some people are efficient with rotary polishers. Cool, more power to them. That's great. But is a DA better than a rotary? Is a rotary better than a DA? That is completely subjective. It is all based on what you are used to and the results that you get. Um, I see a lot of guys comment and say, hey, you should switch over to rotary, it'll be faster, and so on and so forth. It won't be faster, not for me. I am extremely fast and efficient on a DA polisher. I don't have time for the slight learning curve of using a rotary. And there is a learning curve to using a rotary. Uh, yes, if you do use it and get used to it, can it be faster and more efficient? Again, it, it's subjective, it's completely up to you. There are plenty of people who are extremely fast and efficient with DA polishers and that's all they use. In fact, a lot of well-known detailers like Jim White from White Details, he started out with a rotary. And does he still use it today? Very rarely. He usually uses DA polishers because, well, he found that it works better for him. For whatever reason, he's got his own reasons and I have mine. But let's give this a shot today. I do have to say that the styling and the shape and the batteries are almost identical. Uh, the head is a little bit different, of course, because of the gears and all of that, a little bit different but the trigger style, the speed, dials, all the same, the batteries, all the same. I hope they upgraded the batteries. I think they did because these batteries were giving the DAs some problems and actually burning out the terminals. So I switched over to Makita batteries. I have two of these and I still have some of the older SPTA batteries that I still use. They're completely fine. Um, it seems to be the ones with the orange tabs here are the older style batteries. They work really well. They haven't give me any issues. But the ones with a black tab here that came with the DA uh, version two cordless polishers, they were giving me some problems. I already had two or three of them that burnt out um, and I, I disposed of them. And uh, I still use the orange tab ones and they're completely fine. So hopefully they fixed it. It looks like a, a little bit of a different design with the lights and everything. So hopefully this is good. Now I haven't changed any of the grease in these. I'm sure I can at some point. Uh, but just to give you an idea of what it sounds like, at speed one, this is what it sounds like. Crank it up. Not bad. I can hear a little bit of whirring in there. I bet if I replace that grease with a really good heat resistant, uh, that red grease that I actually have some of, uh, I bought it. Um, it would probably bring down the heat and bring down the noise a little bit. But I'm wearing earplugs, so really doesn't bother me that much. But I do have to say that the ergonomics of it feel good because I'm already used to this one here. And you may notice that I have the DIY Details soft pad here. This is like their jeweling or finishing pad. Now we're doing a paint enhancement on this brand new Accord and it's, it's really not bad at all. It has very, very minor little marks in it and there's some marks from like trees on top uh, that we are taking care of. So, so I'm using the DIY Details Gold Standard Polish and this to finish it down, basically, and to polish it out. Um, I'm not doing the whole thing like that. The majority of it, I already did uh, the uh, polishing with the DA polisher. Wifey did that whole side with the DA polisher. I'm just playing around with this and seeing what it can do on black paint uh, because that can sometimes be a challenge. Here are some of the things that I have learned from Ivan LaCroix from DIY Details uh, because he is both a DA and rotary guy. He's probably more proficient with the rotary. However, he does things a little different. So go check out that video in the card where we had a little training session at the base a couple of weeks ago and see for yourself and maybe learn a couple of things from him and, and pick up some tips because he uses the DA polisher for cutting and the rotary for finishing. He does it a little backwards, a little bit different, which is fine. Hey, do whatever works for you. So let's just do a little test here. I'm going to show you guys what the panel looks like, and it already looks pretty much perfect. The only reason I'm doing this is because the rotary 
when used at higher speeds with cutting pads, it leaves behind holograms. It's hard to, I shouldn't say hard, but it can be a challenge to finish down with no holograms at all on black paint. But this combo, basically low speeds, this jeweling pad, and the DIY details, gold standard, is the golden ticket. Magic ticket, golden, magic ticket, magic one, magic, golden. So here's the paint, really not bad at all. You got some weird little nicks and little teeny, teeny little swirls and things like that. Um, not even swirls, just little fine scratches and fine marks. But as you can see, it's really not bad at all. Oh, there's a few little marks right there. So what I'm gonna do is use the DA to cut these out a little bit with the gold standard polish and a yellow Rupes pad. And then without wiping it, finish down with the rotary. So first, the DA. Now with this polish, it is recommended to use a damp towel and a dry towel. It helps remove the residue and any of the polishing oils. You don't have to use an IPA. Now I wiped it off just to see what it looks like. And I know I said I was going to use the rotary right after, but I want to check the work in between to show you guys. Ah, oh, very nice, very nice. You can see a teeny bit, actually that still might be residue that I haven't wiped off completely but that looks really good. Let's finish it down with the rotary and see if there's any holograms. So very, very smooth on the paint. I'm trying to keep it as flat as possible. And this is just speed one. If we kick it up to speed two, let's see. Let's see if we can finish down with just speed two. I don't want to bring it up on an angle at all. It's all flat. and no pressure, I'm just holding the polisher in place. So I can see a teeny bit of hologramming down here. I think that's hologramming. Um, not sure if it is residue could could still just be residue no it actually is a little bit of hologramming so I'm gonna finish it down at speed one instead Much, much better. Very nice. So finishing it down at speed one is key. It is very important. So just take your time. It doesn't take a ton of uh, passes to achieve this. It looks really, really good. And when you get close up, you can really see the flake, the metallic popping. It looks really, really nice. Ah, it's so hard to focus. It won't stay focused. It's like a mirror. All right, awesome. So final thoughts on the SPTA rotary cordless. I mean, for me, it, uh, it works pretty well. Um, and if you are used to rotaries, I don't know, you give it a try, you may like it. It actually does come with its own pads, which actually do seem kind of decent, um, but for finishing, we're gonna stick with this pad because it, it works so well. Uh, but it has this uh, five inch backing plate, but it also has a, I think it's a three inch or a four inch backing plate with pads. So it comes with two backing plates and like six different pads uh, with other little accessories and things in it, which I don't really care for. Um, but the backing plates, the extra backing plates, that is a nice touch. So overall, I think the build quality is really good. 
and uh, the running it on one is gonna save you tons of battery life because it's such low speed. So you can probably get a few vehicles finishing with this, I'm assuming, um, but you know, I think it's a, a pretty good option for a cordless polisher. So I'll have links down below for this polisher as well as the DIY pad and the gold standard polish. And if you pick it up, let me know what you think and uh, come back and comment in the video and, and let me know what you think, yay or nay. I know some people are gonna say, I don't like it for whatever reason. That's totally cool, it's, it's your opinion. Um, but for what it is, I think it's pretty decent.